What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and you were watching Super Metroid. Let's continue on. Last time, we took out the Spore Spawn. That was the last little mini-boss. Probably, well, the first mini-boss, really, that we've actually encountered in this game. No, wait, I take that back. There was another mini-boss. It was the Terizo. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, already forgetting the events of Part 1. <laughs> but yeah, today, uh, the goal is to put these Super Missiles to use and start unlocking some areas we couldn't get to before. And uh, one of those being right, right about here. This is going to let us back out into that main, kind of that main central room that we were in before. Uh, yeah, you'll kind of start to, there's not really a whole lot of those, but those little super missile blocks there, you'll see, uh, you'll see that from time to time. Uh, now, I didn't go this way in the last episode, and I would, you could probably see it, but yeah, it was just a green door anyway. So, super missiles, they open up green doors. Um... Or can take the place of opening uh, one of the red, pinkish red doors. They don't open yellow, so yellow or orange door. They don't open those. But uh, yeah, normally you would use five missiles to open up a red door, but you don't have to. You can use a uh, super missile to kind of get the job done. Now there's a little secret up here, and I'm getting, getting tagged pretty bad by it. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you can nail your wall jump, get a nice little missile pick up there. Yeah. Um. What was I talking about? Uh, more super missile stuff. But anyway, this is kind of like a new little area right here, going further deeper into Brinstar. And uh, those little jumper guys, they uh, can be quite annoying, but a single charge shot seems to do the job pretty good, instead of a, you know, what is it? it looks like two shots, really. Really not that bad, I guess. But uh, yeah, might as well get it done. Get it done with charge, there we go. These little guys, you want to duck down, watch out for their projectiles. Just haul it across that. Make sure you hold down your run button when you do that part. And another green door. They're really throwing them at us now. <laughs> I don't understand the reason to lock all this up behind green door because, uh, I mean, we've already kind of progressed past the part it didn't want us to go to. Anyway, this is uh, still part of Brinstar. This is uh, what I like to call what the Red Rock area, the Red Rocky Ro Rocky Red. I forgot. <laughs> Something like that. Red. I'm gonna call it Red Rock area. Yeah. And yet another green door. And behind this one is a recharge station. So that's convenient. You know, I really don't use these a whole lot. I know there's one point where you, uh, well, really need to, but other than that, it's really not. They're not. I mean, they're convenient, but they're not that convenient. Now, avoid the water. The water physics will uh, hinder your movement speed. Samus is a lot slower in the water, at least right now. And, uh, you know, it's harder to jump. It's definitely a feeling of... Now, see, we can't reach this regularly, but if you use the wall jump trick, which I'm, like I said, really bad at. <laughs> there we go. You can actually get up here a little early, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't really consider this too much of a, a breaking the game, really, so... And, uh, oh, let me guess. A green door. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we got one super missile left. But anyway, this one rewards us with... Ooh, the spazzer beam. Nice. This, uh, increases your beam's range, I guess? Or, or uh, it's spread out. It spreads out your beam. Like, like so. There we go. So, yeah, that's nice. Now we got a little bit... A little bit wider area. That's what I'm trying to say. A radius or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, all right, another beam upgrade. Those are always uh, really... Oh, God, I got caught. Yep. Watch out for these things, and as you see, the water, like I said, really makes it difficult to do anything. Even even the light, shallow step in that water right there is enough to kind of make your jump go a little crappy here. We're going to go through this little transition area here. Mm, nice little interesting glass, too. Doesn't seem to be able to do anything with beams, but let's remember that for later. But anyway, this is technically part of Meridia. This little area kind of kind of splits Brinstar right there, even though this is kind of the end of Brinstar. So, uh, oh, let's try this out. Like I have no previous knowledge of that, but yeah, there is something there. But for the moment, I'm not gonna worry about it because I know I can't progress there just yet. Well, I could, but I don't want to break all of the uh, progression of the game. <laughs> and I know it wants you to come down here first. So, welcome to Norfair. This is the well, what you call it? Uh, the core, near the core of the planet, I guess, because it's super hot. So, yeah, this is a really hot area. <laughs> and the heat will drain my life, as you see. 
at least at our current state. So we don't want to progress through there. And I know that green door over there has another uh, lock mechanism, lock, game locking mechanism behind it, so to say. Yeah, there we go. One super missile opens up a red door. So if you want to, if you want to save on your regular uh, missile stock, then you can just use one. Or if you just really, yeah, lazy like me, <laughs> which is really my excuse. Anyway, we picked up another energy tank. Looks like we can progress through here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what's over this way. Take your time here because that little fire crawler, he is. He's gonna stay on that kind of on a set path walking around the walls and if you jump down a little bit too soon you'll catch him take a bit of damage it's not like it's really bad or anything but hey we got another new item here this is the high jump boots and uh, it does exactly what you think it would do <laughs> it makes you jump higher all right so we'll be able to put that to good use right now there we go see we wouldn't be able to reach that really so well earlier Get more missile pickups on our way out. Always appreciated. And I'm going to wait for this little bastard to come back. All right. There we go. Plus, I think you need to kill him anyway to open the door. The door won't. It won't open. It'll be, it'll be sealed. See, now it's flashing. Yeah, you have to, for some reason, you have to kill that little fire crawler. I don't know why. All right, high jump boots were really the main thing that I was coming down here for. Everything else is either blocked by an item that we didn't, uh, that we don't have yet, or a heat room that will kill you. So, for the time being, we will go back to that point that I mentioned up here earlier, and we'll see what's behind uh, door number two. But don't worry, this isn't the last we've seen of Norfair. Actually, we've barely even scratched the surface of Norfair. Norfair is quite a zone, definitely quite a zone. All right, one super missile will open up that block down there, so that's good. And see, the jump would have been difficult or tricky, even even trying to do wall jumps. People, I believe, can do it. Speedrunners have done it before. Hell, speedrunners have gone through the heat wall, the heat zones over there in uh, Norfair without protection, so to say, <laughs> to uh, stop that. So yeah, yeah, speedrunners of Super Metro are pretty amazing. I'll definitely give it to them there. But anyway, this zone is, uh, well, while still technically part of Brinstar, I just wanted to make the differentiation known here that this is, uh, well, Kraid's Lair. And, uh, one of our first main boss areas in the game. And these freaking key hunters are gonna give me some shit. And, uh, okay, so, yep, I forgot exactly which way to go here, but I know there's a couple different little secret routes. Just going around here and there. And I think I'm going the wrong way, actually. There was okay. I want let me let me just check out all the different things that that I know I could open up around this area. So, oh, okay. This is the the music change to something very dramatic. I think this is definitely the way. Well, now the needles are coming, so I kind of I think I'm committed now. You know, here we go. Little I call these the Cray Juniors. Where are they? Yeah. Ugly thing. All right, yeah, get up some super missile pickups. But yeah, I think I want to go back because I think the other room is a save station. Let me. Oh god, look, there was still some spikes. <laughs> kind of got there. <coughs> All right, so yeah, just a uh, mild bit of backtracking. I'm pretty sure it's a save room over here, but I'd rather access it now. And use it just in case, because you know I never know what happens on these <laughs> on these less plays all the time. <laughs> I could die. It's very possible, or it could go really well for me. All right, so yeah, just just to make sure, I, I didn't want to. Or if you're using this as a as a walkthrough, kind of, uh, there is definitely saves before any major any major plot events. So it will keep respawning the damn key hunters though. So. Just keep taking them out, I guess, but if you're low on health or ammo or anything like that, this is your area to kind of replenish that. Alright, this is definitely the way to go. So now, okay, now we're going to do it the right way. <laughs> Sorry about that, a little, a little backtracking there, a little sidetrack. Alright, here come the needles again. I'm just going to bust. Just bust. There we go. Regular beam does the trick just fine. If you want to get the job done faster, definitely missiles or charge shot. 
Now up here, you can go, there's another little secret area, and locked behind a super missile door. And, okay, it's just a refill station. Looks like I'm uh, okay, but it, it won't refill my super missiles. It only refills um, standard missile stock, so. Really not super useful to me, I guess. I mean, if you're stuck in this spot because you haven't, I don't know, just for whatever reason, get good, maybe. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice little grind spot. Well, see, they give you a grind spot here. Yet they give you an, a recharge station, like, right next to it. Well, I guess it's because that's almost more useful. I can get super missiles out of that. Might take a little longer, but, you know, whatever. And once again, I probably should have... Probably should have acquired my ammunition after taking out... <laughs> the boss, the door boss. But, you know, if you're playing this through... As a, as a regular, as a normie... <laughs> you might not know that, so, yeah. There's always these little spots here. Come on! Come on! Okay. Alright, here comes something big. Anytime you see one of these eye doors, you know it's like a major boss. Holy bejesus, it's Craig. <laughs> I almost called him Craig. It's Craig. <laughs> Damn, Craig. It's Friday. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, now it's Craig. Okay. Giant boss battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he's going to shoot spikes out of his gut. Regular shot definitely doesn't do a damn thing to him. Nothing less than a charge shot is going to be able to do him. But really what you want to do is you want to get him to open his mouth. And actually, a regular shot can do that. It doesn't need to be, uh, it doesn't need to be a charge shot, I don't think, to get him to open up his mouth. Uh, missiles are good here. Super missiles are damn good here. If you can put a run of super missiles in him, he is over. He is over. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do here, is I want to open your mouth. Okay, there we go, there we go. We get a couple... Hey, look, I just pulled off the little, uh, damage thing. There we go, super missile, super missile. And he is down. That's it for Kraid. I pulled off the little move there. I'm happy. I probably did that completely unintentionally. <laughs> what do you call that? The damage booster, I think? Something like that. That was Kraid. See, normally what I like to do is I like to wrap up episodes after boss fights like that, but since Kraid was just so easy, I mean, this is definitely a very lucky run for me. <laughs> anyway, we get the various suit for defeating Kraid. There we go. Upgrades, baby. Nice. Various suit has a number of functions. Well, two functions. I have two main functions, and uh, one of them, I believe, is 50... I think it's 50% damage reduction? Something like that. Armor boost. Half arm, Halfway armor boost, something like that. And uh, it also protects against heat. <laughs> or extreme temperatures, I should say. So, uh, Honestly, I think that would work the same in a cold temperature, you know, in a cold temperate area. Anything that would affect you, uh, that it would affect Samus in a, you know, an extreme temperature, especially somewhere like Norfair, or yes, there's going to be heat room. So that was that item that has locked us behind stuff. So naturally, it is time to head towards Norfair and continue through that area. So that was Kraid. Now um, I'm not going to go to it now. I will go to it in a, in a future episode. That room that we found in uh, the last episode, where it had the statues. At this point, now beating Kraid, his statue would turn gray, uh, letting you know that you progressed and uh, have unlocked one of the four locks keeping you out of that, well, whatever it's keeping you out of. So there you go. <laughs> this room we couldn't go in before. Let's check it out now. These little guys are um, kind of annoying. If once they get on top of you, they will uh, start draining your health. But there is an energy tank here. So don't leave Kraid's lair without that. Very important. Definitely want to get as many of those as you can. Um, like I said, I'm not a completionist, really. I'm not a master of Super Metroid, so I don't know where everything exactly is. I'm just playing this at a uh, comfortable storytelling level. <laughs> Alright, so that is that. We can get out of there. We still have to use a Super Missile to open that little area again, but not a big deal. We'll get that refreshed, I'm sure. Heading back down to Norfair. So now we definitely have a lot of areas we can progress to here. Um, well, not a lot, but there's... Norfair holds pretty much like most of the game's uh, useful items. Weapon pickups, gear, all kinds of good stuff. 
that we're gonna need, so... Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of exploring in Norfair. <laughs> Pretty much the whole second half of this episode is gonna be uh, just that, just that. So let's go on an item fetching quest. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that we wanna pick up here. Again, like I said, you could use super missiles to bust through those doors if you don't want to use the five regular missiles as required. I find it just easier to use a super missile because, I mean, the drop rate, while not, it might not be as, as frequent, it's still... See there, boom, got one. <laughs> now down here in one of these, there is another hidden pickup. I believe there's a missile pickup over here. I think the game would prefer you to come back with... Uh, Further upgrades to survive the lava, but it looks like you can't shoot it, so I'm gonna have to bomb it out. But yeah, there we go. Behind a bombable block, there is a missile pickup. And the damage that you're taking here is really not gonna be too bad. Lava drains, but it's kind of a slower drain, slower than acid. <laughs> well, that acid junk is worse. It also hinders your movement like water, so there's, you know, there's that. So yeah, lava equals a bad time right now. We don't wanna jump in lava. <laughs> Speaking of lava. It also rises from the ground. And uh, these guys, uh, these little jumpers, they do not doesn't look like a regular shot does anything to them. Get these guys out of the way. Yeah, just take a nice tactical morphing ball. <laughs> or just stand completely still. Alright, this takes us into the what I like to call the bubble room. This is the bubble room. <laughs> The bubble room kind of gives you different options, different areas to go to. This is kind of like a central hubbish kind of little area. There's a save point right here that I uh, definitely don't really need right now. I'm just going to continue on, but there it is if you need it. Yeah, there's a couple different ways that you can go, and some areas you just can't quite get to yet based on what items we've got. Now, I'm probably going to get some stuff out of order. I, I'm, in fact, I know I'm going to get some things out of order. <laughs> <laughs> Probably put myself in situations that would normally get you stuck, but <laughs> does that happen this episode or does that happen next episode? I cannot remember. We will see. Oh yeah, I didn't. I never made mention of bomb jumping. Bomb jumping is a thing. I used to be. Uh, oh god, I used to try to do that so much. It's like, oh, I know I can get there if I just bomb jump. I was a very uh, impressionable youngster. <laughs> just watching my cousins do it and stuff. They're like, oh yeah, you can get anywhere with bomb jumping. Go and then it hit the middle one. It looks like now this little area is gonna have these little crawlers. So uh, try not to take, try not to take damage if you can. They keep coming back and forth. Yeah, see there we go. Or just pass them up. If you can bomb them, if you can line them, if get them in a row, you can hit them with bombs that way. And uh, screw you, buddy. <laughs> God, that one gave me trouble. All right, let's check out this next little area here. Definitely looks like you can go down. Okay, and uh, this is one of those little areas again. Kind of like a reef. I call it a refill area. This is a pretty good one, too, because, uh, well, it's, well, not the best just because of the lava placement. And it looks like we can't we can't progress through there. We're shut in by a gate, and our beam won't go behind it. So just remember that's there for later. Uh, but, yeah, I like that. Those little enemies, they cluster up in a group, so you can get a whole lot of pickups real quick. And uh, this hallway, okay, yeah, I already know this is... We do not have the required item to pass through here, and actually that's more of a kind of a shortcut hallway anyway to get to this part of Norfair. Instead of having to go the long way around. So we'll try the next... We'll try the next set. We'll go down this time. Alright. And... Yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay, now this is a refill room. There we go. Uh, if I actually needed anything. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, though. I think that's it. Unless I'm... Unless I'm completely missing something there. Sorry, again, not a completionist. <laughs> not a master. I just really, really like Super Metroid. It's fun. So you be careful of the lava spitters, or it looks like lava hands. He's definitely... It's chucking out lava at us <laughs> in a hand-throwing-like fa fashion. Kind of a weird enemy. I'll go all the way across first, because just kind of like to clear the same level that I'm on. Oh, okay, this is different. And we'll just morph ball right through that. 
believe this area wanted me to have an item I didn't get yet. <laughs> I think I have missed something. Not a problem though, it's just kind of a more of a convenience thing anyway right now. Just be careful on your jumps here, don't fall in the lava, watch out for that extruding pole. <laughs> I like to wait for him to kind of move away a little bit while risky. While risky, it was worth it. Here's another, oh, okay, these guys, they're, they're a little difficult. Dragon kind of, like fire lizards. Hey, they're Lizaphos. I saw you in Zelda. And yeah, I think I need to go up in this room. This is kind of where you, if you fall, this is where you come back out. I want to progress a little further up before. Yeah, yeah, probably a charge shot would be good, but I'm not really making the best use of that. Yeah, see, they locked it behind a pink door, pink red door, whatever the hell. And just be careful with your jumps here. That guy is going to keep shooting at you. These go up and down, up and down. Some of them go up, some of them go down. Use that to your advantage, you know, to make sure that you time your jumps a little bit better. Okay, now this area is definitely something you're not supposed to get right now. You're supposed to probably come back. But I know what's over here, and I want it. And I'm going to get what I want by wall jumping. <laughs> I actually, that, that I usually take way more da oh, damage doing that. But anyway, for successfully doing a wall jump, we got the mighty wave beam. The wave beam allows you to shoot through objects. Handy, that's very handy. Probably something I didn't really make mention of, that uh, beams don't do that, but yeah, there we go. Now they go through walls and floors and pretty much everything else. Unless it gets stopped by an enemy. Yeah, enemy stopped the beam, I guess. <laughs> walls and floors do not, very nice. All right, and uh, I believe there's fake floor around here somewhere, there we go. Fake spikes. I actually use one of these maybe just to uh, refill my junk. There we go. I'm good. Is there anything? I don't think there's anything. Nothing too useful up that way. Alright, and that's wave beam. I definitely got that a bit earlier than you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, wall jumping allows you to break all kinds of stuff in this game. You can, shit, you can pass. Yeah, lots of different things. Speedrunner's best friend. The wall jump. Especially when you can jump on a single wall, like, just repeatedly. It's insane. But anyway, yep, yeah, takes us back to the bubble room. So there we go. If you wanted to see where that all kind of winded back around, it winded right back around here. This is an important sector. Let's go up this way first, or next, I should say. First. <laughs> I've actually been doing okay with speaking to English in these past couple episodes. <laughs> What's happening to me? Am I getting used to this? Oh no. And book it. Just book it through this hallway. Don't worry about turning around. Or don't worry about unleashing enemies. You can shoot them if you want. No big deal. And another pink door. Yeah, item city in today's episode. Very useful items. This is the speed booster. This is going to um, gratefully increase our mobility, for sure. Oh, and it looks like the lava is not waiting for us. <laughs> anyway, hold down that run button, and there we go. Speed booster. Awesome move, awesome move. A lot of things you can do with that, too. You can do the, uh, what's called, the shine spark move. The shine spark is when you're running at that high speed, and then you immediately, whichever direction you're hitting, you hit down immediately on the control pad. Uh, we'll activate the Shine Spark mode, and then I believe it's... See, I've always been unclear about Shine Spark. Like I said, not really the best at all this. Yeah, I believe I should have had Grappling Hook first. <laughs> I've been skipping some Grappling Hook. I'll have to find that anyway. But yeah, um... I forgot what I was talking about. Great. That's just wonderful when that happens. Oh well. Must not have been that important. <laughs> Wave Beam is nice for here, you know, in case of those stupid little... Little fire crawlers. Goodbye, buddy. There we go. Yeah, I forgot you could just kind of uncrouch from that area that we were in. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna head back towards that area that we were at right here earlier, uh, with the with the locked door here that we couldn't we couldn't get past now because the wave beam allows us access to that. Very convenient. 
So blue locked gate doors like that are no longer an issue. However, these stone crawlers things, they still are. We got a new variant of space pirate in here though, these red space pirates are not too difficult, just a couple shots. Space pirates are going to be pretty much the same until way later. Alright, and this takes us down to, uh, shoot, and this is another new room. Get more of these, uh, well, they look like, uh, they should be in an aquatic area, <laughs> but they are not. Ooh, okay, I th I'm pretty sure I know what's down there. So that would mean that there's got to be a save point right around here, I think. Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. This will probably be a good time to go ahead and call it. So make sure you take a save. See, I wish like in, uh, well, in AM2R, the save points, they restore your health, which is kind of nice. I kind of wish those did that, but that functionality didn't come around anyway. But all right, thank you for watching the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Roo, and we'll see you on the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. See you guys next time.